Welcome to this unidentified channel. Today we are going to talk about the new charges that have been brought by the grand jury against Chad Daybell and Lori Daybell. All right, so the grand jury met on May 17th through May 20th, which was a Monday through a Thursday. We know Melanie Gibb was there testifying to the grand jury. And when she left the courthouse in Idaho, she was served a subpoena by um, Mark Means, had subpoenaed some information for Melanie Gibb, and you can check that out in a different video. The grand jury met Monday through Thursday. Friday came, we didn't hear anything. The weekend came, Monday came, we heard nothing. Tuesday was May 25th. It was J.J. Vallow's birthday. He would have been nine years old, and... Rob Wood and Lindsey Blake came out and announced that the grand jury had indicted Lori and Chad on several charges and that they would be doing a press conference. They did the press conference, and here is what was said. Tuesday, May 25th, 2021, Fremont County, Idaho. Prosecutors announced grand jury indictments today against Chad Guy Daybell and Lori Vallow Daybell related to the deaths of Tammy Daybell, Tylee Ryan, and Joshua Jackson, J.J. Vallow. Tammy Daybell was Chad Daybell's wife at the time of her murder. Tylee Ryan and J.J. Vallow were Lori Daybell's children. We got to hear all of the charges that have been brought on by the grand jury. Here is what Lori and Chad are being charged with. Count one, conspiracy to commit first degree murder and grand theft by deception for the death of Tylee Ryan. Count two, first degree murder for the death of Tylee Ryan. Count three, conspiracy to commit first degree murder and grand theft by deception for the death of J.J. Vallow. Count four, First degree murder for the death of J.J. Vallow. Count five. Conspiracy to commit first degree murder in the death of Tammy Daybell. Count six is only for Chad. First degree murder in the death of Tammy Daybell. Count seven, only for Lori. Grand theft related to Social Security survivor benefits over $1,000 allocated for the care of of minors, Tylee Ryan and J.J. Vallow, that were appropriated after the children were missing and untimely found deceased. Count eight is only for Chad. Insurance fraud related to life insurance policy he had on Tammy Daybell for which he was the beneficiary and received funds after her death. Count nine is for Chad Daybell. Insurance fraud related to another life insurance policy he had on Tammy Daybell, for which he was the beneficiary and received funds after her death. There are nine new charges that have been brought on. Today, which is June 9th, is the anniversary that the kids were found in Chad Daybell's backyard. Chad Daybell had his arraignment in front of Judge Stephen Boyce. All nine counts were read to Chad and he pled. On count one of the indictment, Mr. Daybell, how do you plead? Not guilty. We'll enter the not guilty plea on count one. On count two, how do you plead? Not guilty. On count three, how do you plead? Not guilty. On count four, how do you plead? Not guilty. On count five, how do you plead? Not guilty. On count six, how do you plead? Not guilty. On count eight, how do you plead? Not guilty. And on count nine, how do you plead? Not guilty. Very well. Not guilty. Please are entered as to all the counts in the indictment. Not guilty on every count. Did you watch it? If you watched it on the court cameras, it was very hard to hear the defense. You couldn't really hear what John Pryor was saying, and you couldn't really hear what Chad Daybill was saying. However, Nate Eaton was in the courtroom. And his video is way better. Go check it out on East Idaho News. He gets views of the people in the courtroom, which we know that Natalie Pulowski, Kay Woodcock, and Colby Ryan were all there. And three out of five of Chad Daybell's children were there, and they sat behind Chad. Um, it was Garth and Emma and Seth. 
And they all wore masks, so you really couldn't see their face. However, Nate got, um, Nate got video of the entire courtroom, and you are able to hear the defense through that video. We also found out today that Lori Daybell has been committed. We know when they showed up to court on May 26th for their first appearance after these new charges had been made, Chad Daybell showed up and he was read the charges, first appearance, and then he went away. And then when Lori showed up, we everything was postponed. We didn't even get to hear the charges read. And now we know that back on March the 8th, Mark Means had questioned her competency. Was she competent? And I guess he had taken that to the judge. They had her checked out. And, and the doctor that Mark Means hired had said, no, she is not competent. Rob Wood objected to that. And he objected to the continuation of the hearing that day of the first reading of the new charges. Your Honor, the state objects to the motion to continue. And the judge continued it, and then we found out that the doctor had found Lori Daybell not competent, and then Rob Wood contested that. He was like, no, I don't believe that, so he had his expert come in and analyze the data because he couldn't reevaluate Lori um, per the state laws of Idaho. He can only evaluate and go over the documents that the psychologists provided and had from their evaluation. Rob Wood's doctor reviewed that paperwork or that information and he also decided there was nothing he could come up with to say she was competent. So Rob Wood had contested that Lori Vallow was competent. Then he withdrew his contest. That is dated on June the 4th. Lori Vallow has been committed to the Department of Health and Welfare for mental health treatment. And from the document I read on June the 8th, that was yesterday, it, uh, this order was filed. It's an order of commitment. Lacks fitness to proceed slash competency. Somebody, I saw where somebody was saying that the Name on the paperwork had been coming out with Daybell missing from Lori's name, so I wanted to check it out. So just on this document that came from the state of Idaho, it does have a reference of Lori Noreen Vallow as the defendant. So the document that Rob Wood filed, the withdrawal of contest, it shows Lori Noreen Daybell. So I've seen both. I've seen the Vallow, a.k.a. Daybell. I've seen just Vallow. I've seen Daybell. So I don't know if she's trying to pull back the Daybell name now, but Mark Means did go out of his way to have her addressed as Daybell. So we will keep an eye on that and see what's happening with that. What did you guys think of today's arraignment for Chad? Anything unexpected happen? Were you shocked to see the people that you saw in court? Did you watch it live or did you have to watch it on the replay or have you even watched it yet? I'm very anxious to see what's going to happen with Lori over the next several weeks. As soon as the doctors find that she is competent, they have to let the judge know and then hopefully we can get her back in court. Hopefully. I didn't see Chad Daybell smile in court today. However, he did look into Nate Eaton's camera more than a couple of times. I saw him at least three, maybe four. I'm not sure. Did you see him? If you haven't watched Nate's video, go watch it. All right, the judge set the next hearing. It's a status conference for June 23rd at 9.30 a.m. Mountain Time. It is a status conference. We will hopefully be setting a trial date now. I never saw any paperwork on the change of venue that was scheduled for today saying it was vacated or it was moved or we weren't having it anymore. I never saw anything like that, but it didn't happen. So apparently it was vacated. So will we have a change of venue motion filed for these new charges? June 23rd's coming. That's the next court date we have and we'll just keep an eye on things. If you haven't already, let me know where you're watching from. Thank you for being here with me, and I will see you next time. Did you guys see it? I know you did. Today, 
this all happened, Prosecutor Rob Wood and um, the um, the Rob Wood and uh, uh, very anxious witness at the um, at uh, and on um, um, he gets he gets pictures. Um, I'll get those dates. Let me get them. Have you seen them? Of course you have. And we got to see, but, um, so anyway, now here are the charges that the grand jury competency or lack, lacks fitness to proceed slash. And so Mark Means pulled back his, um, we'll just have to wait. And so that um, Mark um, Rob Woods expert or Rob Woods doctor ev evaluated, and then um, Rob Wood. If you watched the the, if you watched it on the court, um, yeah, well, that um, that the doctor had. And the person and the doctor and the, um, and the doctor that and the doctor that Mark means so we know we know in we that she had been um, we and and the withdrawal of we'll just have to wait and watch did you hear it it was murder charges um, yeah that's pretty much it. That's, uh, uh, I don't know how to, I don't know how to wrap this up because I don't know exactly where I left off. So, bye.